It's hard to believe that Christmas is just weeks away, but don't panic. I've made it absolutely simple for you in this month's SA Life magazine. We've got a step-by-step -step guide for your Christmas entertaining. Now, one of the recipes you'll find is for an iced chocolate Christmas pudding, which could easily become your family's new favourite. And best of all, you can make it days ahead. Like all good Christmas puddings, this one's got lots of fruit and nuts. I've got roasted almonds, currants, glacé peel, cherries and glacé pears. Chop those up and soak them overnight in some good South Australian brandy and some cold tea. Next, whip 600 ml of cream and use half of it to line a small pudding bowl and pop that in the freezer. Then we cream 90 grams of butter with 30 grams of cocoa powder. Add three eggs and keep whipping. Take 375 grams of melted chocolate and add that. You can melt the chocolate any way you like, over a double boiler or even in a microwave. Add the fruit and brandy and all the almonds. Another big stir. You can see that it's all mixing in beautifully. Then we need to amalgamate the remainder of our cream. And using a spatula, fold that in. And finally, we whip up three egg whites until they're light and fluffy. Fold it in using a spatula, trying not to lose any of that lovely volume. Do it in a couple of batches. Take our bowl out of the freezer and then fill it up. You can see how the cream has frozen into a gorgeous shell. And that goes back into the freezer to set overnight. When it's time to serve, you obviously need to unmold this. And the easiest way to do that is to plunge it into a bowl of warm water. Not for very long, 30 seconds should do it. Invert it onto a plate and you can take it to the table whole or slice it individually and serve it with some berries and custard. So don't forget to look for the recipe in this month's SA Life magazine. Yes, Rosa can certainly fix all of your Christmas menu worries and I for one will definitely be giving that pudding a go. Now back to Grant's story earlier and it's clear Adelaide's favourite retail precinct has come a long way. From horse drawn carts to diagonally parked cars and the pedestrian mall that we love today. Rundle Mall has always embraced Adelaide's changing style and the most recent upgrade is no exception. This huge redevelopment saw the installation of high quality paving, landscaping and urban elements and adding future proof infrastructure. In raw materials, we're talking nearly 12,000 square metres of paving, more than eight kilometres of wiring, 44 new trees and lots of new seating areas. Our favourite sculptural elements such as the mall's balls, fountain, pigs and the girl on the slide were also restored and replaced. Yes, you could say the mall has taken its biggest leap forward since it first opened in the mid-70s. The mall has had a serious declutter. In fact, I'm surprised at how wide and open it looks now. This flexible space now has plenty of room for pop-up shops like this gorgeous flower stall. It's like a touch of Paris right here in Adelaide. Well, that brings us to the end of the show this week and, in fact, the end of the series for the year. We're going to be taking a break over the Christmas period, but we'll be back with a brand new series for 2015. SA Life magazine will be with you throughout the summer break, so don't miss the brand new December-January double issue when it comes out this week. With more than 250 pages, it's full of gift ideas, what to wear, how to entertain and where to go these summer holidays. On behalf of the whole team, everyone that helps put the show together, we wish you a safe and happy Christmas and we hope that over the holiday season you get to enjoy your special slice of South Australia. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next year.
seen it on SA Life? Go find it in your backyard. SouthAustralia.com